Hello everyone, Mimi here from Mimi's Crafty Shop. And I've got a little experiment this morning I'm gonna do because I seen this on the Graphic Fairy. I think the lady's name was Becky that did um, different ways of using the Kiwi um, shoe polish. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get mine out and, and play around with it. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm using different things to um, put it on with like they she did. Um, this one here, I did it with the brown and used, I couldn't find a, a sponge that had one of these ends on it, so I had to use the scrubber I used in the kitchen, which it's brand new, but I thought, well, if it works, you know, what the heck, I'll use it. So what I did is I went around the edges with it, um, with the brown, and I really, really like the way it turned out. It's kind of got a unusual, nerdy fiber look to it. It's strange, but I liked it. So let's do a little bit more of that. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. Let's see. Let me pull this in a little bit better. I'm working on a, a fall journal right now, so I've been into the fall stuff still, which a lot of people are doing the Christmas stuff, and I'm I'm kind of getting ready for that. Um, after I hopefully this week I'm gonna get through with this journal, and I'm gonna get out my Christmas stuff. Well, I've already got it out, but you know, this is really. I mean, I'm sure people have used this in the past. The shoe polish, probably. In fact, my mother's probably used it. I'm sure. Let's try it with the um, makeup sponge. My shoe polish is a little dried out. Um, and I am, am loving the way this works. I mean, it's amazing to me. It really is doing a great job. It's a lot more smoother, seems like to me, than using the um, what is it, the Tim Holtz Distressing Ink, which you can get a lot of colors in this, so, you know, that's nice, too. But it's nice to do something different, you know. So, I got this one done, and I really like the way it looks. Like I said, it really makes it look kind of vintage. Um, uh, vintage, it makes it look really old. So, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to kind of distress the edges a little bit with this my distressing tool, which if you don't have this particular tool, um, you can use scissors, works just as good. You know, uh, I had to have this tool when I first started uh, doing junk journals, like all the other things that I needed. And some of them I really use, and some of them I, I might have used once. So you have to be careful about that if you're starting out. Word of warning, you don't need every tool out there. Some of the stuff you can do without the tools. Okay, well let's try this one. Um, I'm gonna use this same technique. And I really like this container. My, my husband had it. It's old, it's a uh, Norman Rockwell, a commer commem commemorative edition. I thought I was looking at his she polished stuff, and I was like, well, that's such a pretty little container there. So, I kind of got a little carried away on this one. Let me get up here so you can see better. There we go. But I like this. I mean, this is something different, you know? So, let's try the this again. The sponge technique and for some reason I'm loving this sponge I mean I love the way it does on the edges and I had bought this right here and really I tried to use it but I never could figure out it never really worked that good for me but you know it works just as good and I don't even know if you can still get these anymore I'm sure you can in certain places but it's some kind of blending tool I think I don't really know what it is. But that is really pretty. Look at that. That turned out so pretty. So, if 
it's on the graphic fairy, usually the techniques work. I just thought, well, I'm gonna do it and see. <laughs> I, will, I read it this morning that I, I'm a member of the graphic fairy, so I get um, stuff on Fridays, the free little picture, and then I, you know, I can go in there and, and use their products, and it's, uh, I think it's $9.95 a month. And they have a lot of great tutorials on there. I mean, it's well worth the money. And they got a lot of uh, digitals you can download, make stuff up. If you're, you know, can do that with your Photoshop, which I do, and don't really know how to use it. So, huh. I've tried to do stuff on there, but I need to take a class. And they actually have a class that you can do online. And I need to just take the time out and do it and take it so I can... I like to play around. I love digitals and I always want to make my own. But that is just so pretty. So just a quick tip there. Um, this is a real pretty part of a, a card that I had saved. Somebody, either I don't know if somebody sent it to me or what. I can't even remember. But I thought it was just such a pretty card for um, the fall. So I'm gonna try it on there and see what it looks like. It's kind of got a... Um, a sheen to it, you know, the picture, the front of it does, like a lot of cards do. And you can take and use some matted gesso, uh, not gesso, but um, uh, matted, yeah, I think gesso, that's it, yeah, matted gesso that's clear, you know, to put, or put over it, and um, it will take that sheen off. But uh, again, just, I'm kind of getting it all over the place, but it is really, a great technique. I have this color right here too. One of mine's dried up, but this is kind of a reddish color. So let's take this, which is a really pretty card that I have. Oh, yeah, it's got something on the back of it. So no, that's not a great idea. Um, let's just try it on this thing here. I'm gonna try this a little bit different color. Let's see if I like it. It's just a different color that I had, had bought because um, I have some boots that I use it on. My cowboy boots. I don't know about that color. That's a little, it's kind of orangey. But it's not bad for the, you know, if you're using it this time of year. It's really pretty. But I don't know, that's kind of an orangey color. And this color here I had to tell you was, um, it's kind of a, it's called Buttercup. But it was dried up. But it's still, I think, I could add some water to it maybe. But let's see how it would do on this. Buttercup. Yeah, I think it's dried up too much. Let's go back to this one. I just love this. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I think this is really pretty. Kind of different. So anyway, quick tip. Check it out. It works. So if you have some of this kiwi boot polish around, you might try it, something different. Um, you can get boot, boot polish, it's pretty cheap, but you know, it lasts forever. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day and thank y'all so much for stopping by my channel and please subscribe.